Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you another project that I created and I used um, MFT stamps, um, Pure Innocence Making a List. Um, it's a really adorable stamp and I really love the sentiment that was on the stamp set. It said the one good thing about not seeing you is that I can write you letters. And I really love writing letters. I've written letters, gosh, ever since I was little. Um, one of my dearest friends that I've known since kindergarten actually kept the letters that I wrote to her back in elementary. And so it's really nice to look back at. Um, I've been written letters when I was first dating my husband, which I've kept. And I, I think I've shown it in one of my videos. Um, so it's really nice to um, have, you know, letters that you can keep and just read years, you know, later and it's, it's just a nice sentiment so um, I really love the stamp set and it was just perfect um, to make this project with I also used the new dynamics die this is really cool this is the uh, accented feathers and arrows and I really love it so let me show you some of the die cuts so these are the feathers there's two different sizes and you can see it has a score line inside or you know in the middle so you can score that score line to give the feathers a little bit more dimension and it's really cool. I also cut it out in some vellum which I thought was really neat. So I used some vellum paper there and then this is the arrow which is really cool. So you can even um, put a heart in the middle and it makes a really neat arrow. So these are all just in the one die. Oops. There it is. So it's a really cool die, and I love it. So let me show you what I made here. So basically, I thought it would be a really cute gift to give to someone. Um, you can even give it to your children that they can write letters or give to their friends, which I thought, and it would even make a nice uh, teacher's gift as well. So what I did was I basically created a envelope. As you can see, I created an envelope, and I used some lightweight chipboard Okay, and then I uh, decorated the back. As you can see, I add some design paper. This is Prima's Hello Pastel collection. And then I add some trims that, um, that I got from Annie. And then this is the stamp set right here. So I basically colored her with my Copic markers and did some paper piecing. And I add some stickles to the letter. And it comes with this really cute um, little envelope. So I paper piece the envelope and then I add some flowers and it's just really adorable so when you open the envelope so the closure is some velcro I made a letter and envelope set so basically there's six envelopes and then there's six letters that you can um, write on and it's just really cute and then I wrapped it with some lace and then you just close it like that and it's just adorable. I love it. So I made, as you can see, three different sizes. This one is using, um, this is die cuts with a view, the Dear Jane stack. And this is where you can see I use the feathers. Super, super cute. I love it. And this is one of these flowers that I made. Um, this is uh, Vicky's flowers. Really cute. And again, some more trims from Annie. And then again, I use the same sentiment and then I paper piece and colored her again with the Copics and then I cut this image out from the design paper and then add some flowers and again the same thing closures uh, velcro and this one I just used design paper for the envelope but then I did the same thing again the one of the design papers had these images there's about six of them in one of the pages and I used those as letters which I thought were really cute and then I just made some envelopes and to create this I used um, the We Are Memory Keepers it's that envelope punch board so I basically made one size bigger to hold the envelopes and the letters in so that's that one and then this is the other one I made and this is using um, Prima's and um, this is the Fairy Rhymes collection and again, another one of the uh, Vicky flowers that I made. And this is um, Annie's trims. Just really cute. I love it. It's just, it's just a perfect gift. And again, the uh, lightweight chipboard. And then the Velcro closure. You can use the magnet closure if you want. And then here's 
the letters and um, the envelopes again. So it's, it makes a really cute set that you can um, give to somebody. It makes a really nice gift. I would love to receive one of these. I mean, they're so fun to alter and the stamp set was just perfect for this project. Um, so check them out. Again, it's mftstamps.com and I'll put their link down below. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.